everyone welcome to virtual graduation party of uh, welcome Baku. welcome um, to the virtual graduation Baku. party of jd isabel um jd sola took our bite level animation course and we have her family with us today and we also have her teacher and we also have our student success officer and um, it's me vikrant and my co-founder aziza we are also on the call today we are we have all gathered here to see jd sola's project over the last three months and celebrate how far she has come and look at the project which she prepared during this time introduction to krita okay this is class 1 right and what is your name tell me quickly so we all uh so we all saw what all uh, jade sola did um she went through so many different things adding scenes in krita making drawings on paper and animating it so she started from the basics uh from the building blocks of animation and advanced through uh creating an animation using the software so now let's hear from uh from her teacher smita do you have um So what do you think about Jade Sola's progress so far? Yeah, she is incredible. Uh when we started, I was a uh, little doubtful that how she's so young and how we will go ahead with this. And uh but we adopted different uh strategy to combine uh, art and craft. uh animation toys drawing she loves drawing she loved doing drawing and she shared lots of views on that and uh, and then slowly we you know shifted to the software part this is really incredible and i we finished the course and every class she enjoyed very well she she made us laugh i was really enjoying to teach her every class and her mom is so supportive and she also learned along with us and uh, this was really fun journey so uh, and she is very quick learner she she learns quickly she learns uh, very quickly and she tells me about her toys also what she does what color she likes so we had a lot of fun all together so teaching her is really my pleasure i'm really happy that she learned the way it has to be and 
and i have suggested uh, uh, her that she should continue uh, doing the practice she should uh, watch tutorials also she should do some practice so that she can continue learning it and when she grow up she use this medium for expressing her imagination her thoughts and this will help her in her school also so my best wishes to her and uh, i definitely enjoyed being with her every class was fun that's it that's great that's great thank you thank you very much for for sharing that smita yeah okay so um moving on the next part of our um of the graduation ceremony today is jedisola's presentation so i'm going to stop sharing my screen and give access to jedisola so she can sh show us her project okay uh, all right let me share before we proceed okay um, okay uh, firstly let's start by um okay let's start by introducing ourselves uh, my name is um mrs fatima Uibanji, the mother to um charisola Uibanji. say hi to everyone hi Speak louder. Say hi, hi. everyone. Hi. Well. Can you tell hi. us your name? Hi, Jarisola. <laughs> what is your name? My name is Jarisola. Speak louder. What is your name? My name is Jarisola. How old are you? I'm four years old. What class are you? No, it's So, what is the topic of your project today? You say. Save water. What do you mean by save water? Yeah. What do you mean by save water? Clean, clean water. Speak louder. Clean water is good for fish. So, so save water. Yeah. Clap for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> So we are going to move ahead to the project proper now. So uh, our project topic is uh, Save Water by Daddy Sola Uibanji. So um, I did the compilation and the documentation, but we actually did this project together. Because um, I don't know um, the topic that was given to her, maybe because our teacher saw in her that she loves fishy fishes, I don't know. She loves fishes to the extent that um, she doesn't eat fish. She prefers eating meat. She will tell you, I don't want to eat fish. So she prefers, she prefers seeing fishes live, playing with fishes than eating fishes. So uh, that is why she was able to align with the project topic and she was able to um, carry herself along with the topic. So we we're able to discuss together where fishes live, how to take care of fishes, and if fishes does not see water, they die. And that was how we now came about bringing them, like getting the um, work done. So now um, this second slide is showing a fish pot where there's uh, uh, a water, and there's also a fish, a lively fish here that is happy and playing in the water. While the other image is showing a fish without water which shows that fish actually dies without water they can't survive without water then now about the project so the topic of the project is save water like i said earlier and here we say fishes are animals who only survive in water and fishes serve as food to human and also used for adventures Fishes die as a result of lack of water or unhealthy water in which they live. The oxygen in water will help the fish breathe and revive it always. But if there is lack of healthy water, it makes the fishes unable to survive and they die. We must make sure that we keep water clean always to help keep fishes alive and healthy. And also, we should desist from the act of throwing dead in water like river, stream, and sea. 
we should also encourage the habit of taking care of fishes by having a water pot in our garden to house fishes. Change the water always and protect the water pot from breaking. The more we protect fishes from unhealthy water, the more we have healthier fishes in the world. Now, we want to go to the next slide. We talk about the project making. So, these are the, we want to talk about the tools that are used for this project. We use them um, Krita software, we use transformation tool, we use layers. We use animation timeline, which I see that is the hardest part. <laughs> it's the hardest part, but we're able to, to get it along the line and importing images to layer, copy and paste, onion skin, which is very interesting, color tools as well, because my daughter loves coloring. She loves color, she loves drawing a lot. She loves drawing. Then we use the render animation for video as well. Then for um, Daddy Solar, other activities while learning Krita, she also learned how to make flip book, then drawing character. Then also she learned how to paint and also a thermotrope and optical toy for animation. These are what she learned aside from uh, 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 the normal, uh, aside from uh, what she's, she did for her project. So she was able to increase her, her, her coloring ability, though she knows how to draw before, but she doesn't, she's not really very creative about her drawing. She looks at pictures before to draw, but now she draws offhand. So then um, I want to show part of the email, what part of what she do, she did while <laughs> taking her classes. She did this. What do you what is the name of your uh, what's the name of your flower? She she named it Chuchu, right? What is the name? What what is the name? Chuchu. Speak louder. Yeah. Speak louder. What is the name of your um of your flower? What's the name? Choo -choo. Speak louder, they can't hear you. Mm -hmm. What's the name? Speak louder. Choo -choo. She said it's Choo Choo. <laughs> she named it Choo Choo. And this is the elephant that she. Uh, yeah. Boy. yeah. <laughs> and also, this boat. is. Yeah, yeah. A Sleep. boat. Yeah. And what? Sound. And what? Loud. And what is this? Water. Water. And what is on the water? Mm? What is on the water? What is this red thing on the water? Boats. Boats, good. And what is this white thing here? What is this? Cloud. Cloud. Then what is this? What is that yellow one? Sun. Sun, clap for yourself. And what is this here? What is this here? Elephant. Then what is the elephant playing with? Ball. Ball, clap for yourself. <laughs> okay, now let's go to the next slide. So the next slide is, show, is the video of our project. It shows um, the water in a pot, jumping and living healthy. Uh, this is the animation part. Let's replay for everyone to see. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and this is so awesome. That's the last thing. This is your pot and your fish. What's the name of your fish? What's the name of your fish? What's the name of your fish? Daddy. Daddy Zola. <laughs> the fish looks like you. Actually, uh, we chose that yellow, uh, yellow and blue because she loves the color. She loves. The, she chose the fish herself. Okay, so that is the video of uh, animation. Then here, yeah, she said, I, Jade Sola Isabel Oyebanji, hereby implore everyone around the world to make it our responsibility to keep clean and healthy water environment in order to save water. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> Clap for yourself. Yay. 
that was really really nice i couldn't when i looked at that animation first i couldn't tell that it's something jedi sola made i thought it's something uh, like an expert made or it's something from the internet but that that's really good job i i'm impressed and thank you smitha for um for the project that you assigned to jedi sola and another thing i noticed uh, during jedi sola's classes and in her project is that she learned about one of the united nations sustainability uh, sustainable development goals and there are about 12 plus sustainable development goals and as her mom said she she really likes fish and she picked to save them so it's um, i think she did not just learned animation she learned something much more than that uh, about caring about that environment as well so um uh, thank you for the presentation so since she delivered the project successfully we hereby award her a certificate so a certificate jedi sola clap for her a round of applause for jedi sola for going through the course and um learning about united sustainability uh development and also learning data animation software and i hope she will do a lot more videos in the future uh, to create a awareness, um awareness in in the society so let's hear from the parents about what they think and um what else they have planned for uh, for jedi sola okay um hi everyone once again and thank you for this great opportunity really appreciate tenten coding for this actually at first uh, when i was being introduced to tenten coding uh, it's something that um, i have been interested in before because i also uh, i work in a tech space so and i understand um i understand technology especially to um, education very well um uh, so when i was introduced to tent and coding i found it very interesting because that was actually what i wanted uh, my children the knowledge i want them to have uh, so i i said because um, she is a girl and also i discovered that she loves drawing a lot she loves coloring she loves being creative she can just she has she doesn't even want to use pencil she always love using biro pen sorry and the reason why she loves using pen is because pen is more colorful than pencil so she prefers using pen so that was when i started studying her and see that she is like uh, she's a child that loves um, anything artistic anything drawing being creative so and i started testing i brought i bought her um, drawing book i bought her color pencils then before you know it she started drawing before she would take um a, an image a picture i bought her images i bought her cartoon images book, image book then she would copy from it and draw and she would also color she would change the color and she she's very very good in color mixing so i was so surprised that she could have interest in being creative like this so after that i was okay when i was introduced to tenten coding i was like okay let me try it for her and see if she would cope if she doesn't cope then maybe wait a little longer while she's old enough to be able to understand what the thing is so but uh, fortunately and um, surprisingly to me she really catched up that even the first day the really the way she spoke with um, the teacher she spoke with the teacher as if they knew each other for long <laughs> after introducing themselves to each other she started talking freely When they asked her her best color she she responded she even asked the teacher what the teacher's best color is before you know they said i was just looking at them and they, she was now bringing up she was one of bringing up the topic and what she want like can we draw butterfly can we draw flower okay can we use color blue i love color purple i love color pink that was how everything now started before we knew it now became the thing where she now her uh, interest now increased and after each classes she's always stopping me to buy any coloring tools so i started buying them then also surprisingly she now stopped 
looking at books to draw. She now draw offhand. Um, then this project also helped her to, I, like I said earlier, she doesn't like eating fish. She mm -hmm. prefers seeing the fish and playing with fishes. She doesn't like, I don't know, maybe she's, she pitied, she's pitying fish, I don't know, but she doesn't take fish, she prefers meat. So with that, she now had more interest. Before, one of her cartoon characters is not um, is not fish because there is a cartoon character that we call Baby Shark Dudu. She doesn't really watch it like love Baby Shark Dudu to the extent that she can even draw Baby Shark Dudu on her tablet. Where's her tablet? So that she can draw and can show. So she can even draw Baby Shark Dudu on her tablet. Her hand. She will put the eyes. She will put everything. And uh, without even looking at anything, without even looking at any image to, to get it done, her creativity level has increased. Her creativity level has increased. Her interest for drawing, her interest of um, getting things done has, has, has sharply increased. So um, this is uh, what I'm really impressed about. And I also, I told the teacher that I would love, and I also told um, um, Ten Ten Code in the Nigerian team that I would love to I would love her to proceed to the next stage going forward so that uh, I want her to understand this stage very well. I'll be teaching, I'll help her understand it very well before she will now proceed to the next stage. So I, want, I really want her to proceed to the next stage and get to the climax of this because um, it's something that I found that she's interest, she has interest in and she's really going to do well in it. So once again, I want to appreciate the management of Tente Coding for making this happen, for, for making my daughter to like push out her strength, like push out an inherent um, capability, an inherent ability, and uh, a love for creativity. Thank you for bringing it out in her. Thank you very much, and most especially to the teacher. Thank you for being patient all the time that she would digress from what <laughs> she would digress from the class and be. Talking about another thing, though she still talk about um, herself, but most times she maybe they are teaching her how to make a flip book. Okay, look at what she did on her tablet. Baby Shark to do. <laughs> she did this <laughs> up and she now she knows how to blend colors. This one is not drawing. She used color to to do this. She's now very creative. So she, oh, I I actually bought this tab for her so that she'll be able to practice it. Instead of she uses laptop as well, but she is very very free with lap tablet. So with this, she used only color. She this one is not the drawing one. She used only color to create image for herself for for, for any image that she wants to create. She create this is baby shark do. She did baby shark do the eye and everything the head alone. <laughs> so uh, this is part of the thing that she is in and I own and. Uh, once again, I appreciate on behalf of I and my family, we appreciate Tento Coding for this great opportunity. Um, we wish uh, we this keep going. This keep going. Um, yeah, this, this, this keep going. Thank you very much for the opportunity and thank you again, Smita, for uh, your um, for your strong um, and encouraging support from the beginning of this training to date. We really appreciate Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you. You're very welcome. Thank you, Thank you very much for, for the kind, kind words. Um, uh, Smita, you, you were saying something? Yeah, I want Jade to say something. Jade, what mama saying? <laughs> you should say something. Thank you, everyone. Say thank, thank you, everyone. Say thank you for giving me this opportunity. Thank you for giving me this opportunity. 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 I appreciate you all. I appreciate you all. Say thank, thank, coding. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> and we love you. We love you. I love her in every class. She <laughs> creates so much interest that you love to talk to her non-stop going on best wishes thank you same same here this was really nice i'm in, i think i'm interacting with jedisola for the first time and she's a really cute baby and i really enjoyed the graduation ceremony today and seeing um everything that she has done so moving on with the graduation ceremony 
um, we just heard from the parents and um, we want to take some time to thank some other members of the tent and coding team which we don't always see in the classes um, or maybe in the graduation ceremony today but there's a whole team um, behind this which makes which makes this possible which makes our classes possible which makes this graduation ceremony possible the videos and everything uh, we have our enrollment officers our creative designers our community managers our student success officers um, our course developers and even our legal team to um, everything so thank you to all the tent and coding uh, staff members also for making making this possible and we have a surprise for everyone uh, in the graduation ceremony today okay we have a new person joining cool uh, so we have a surprise for everyone who joined the graduation ceremony today and the surprise is here you go so everyone who joined the graduation ceremony today or is a friend or a relative um, with jd solar will get a 50% discount on the first month of subscription if they want to join any of the tent and coding courses. Your special code to avail the discount will be JEDISOLA. So just call one of our enrollment officers or call our student success officer, tell them that you were there in JEDISOLA's graduation ceremony and on account of that, you will get 50% off your first month. so you can um, reach out to us um, our contact information is there on the screen our phone number is there it's 702-500-7461 or you can send an email to info at tent and coding and we'll be happy to get on a call with you or answer any questions that you may have um, regarding tent and coding or you can reach out to our student success officer, Ruth. She's here with us um, on the call today. Um, her email address is ruth at tentencoding.com or you can call her at 702-500-7461. Mm -hmm.